Hey folks, so I, I just posted a video on how to joint boards wider than your jointer using a spacer block. If you haven't watched that video first, watch it first because this probably won't make any sense. So this is a completely unplanned little follow-up because I was thinking about it as I'm responding to some comments this morning and it dawned on me that there might be an even better way, that there probably is an even better way that is just as simple. So the reason why I think this method uh, with the spacer block was the best approach because it is just extremely simple and fast. So the only downfall of this, I just thought of a downfall of this, and that is that you need a spacer block that is as long as your material. So in this case, I'm using a, I think this is like a 30 inch piece, or however long this is, so I need a piece of plywood that is as long or a little bit longer for a spacer. If you're jointing an eight inch wide or an eight feet long piece of wood with this method, then you'll need an eight feet long piece of spacer material to go with it through the, uh, to go with it through the planer. And that might be the only downfall of this particular setup, but there's an actually an, an easier way to, uh, to accommodate that. So this piece of white, yeah, it's showing up. This piece of white board right here is just a piece of melamine shelving it's not attached to the planer. It's just being used as a sled. So a piece of melamine shelving with two stops to prevent this from sliding around. It's just a, um, not a sled, but a, uh, a bed extension, I guess you could say. So with that same concept, what I think the better solution would be is to make one that is that eight inch wide piece of board. I just had a scrap piece of melamine shelving and it's got some holes in it or whatever. But this will act as that particular spacer, except if you put a block on the bottom, it becomes stationary. So with this setup, you can have that same exact overhang. I re, uh, rejointed the board here to show that there's that same exact overhang that can be lined up next to the side of the uh, stationary sled or stationary bed extension, I guess you could say, and still have that same reference plane and joint the board regardless of how long your piece of stock is. So if you have an eight foot long piece of wood, then this particular little bed extension would probably be uh, a better long-term use in the shop than having a couple pieces of scrap plywood around. So anyway, I hope that's useful. Uh, I think that this is a slight better um, practical use than having a couple pieces of scrap plywood around. However, having some scrap plywood for spacers to run through it is still a very quick and efficient use of this situation. So I hope that helps. Not a planned video, but you guys have a great day.